Well, everybody, there's the mystery man holding his camera, looking at a screen. Um, I just wanted to put this up there, and this was the only way I could think to do it. I'm just getting ready to head back to the hospital right now, but Maureen is doing better. They had her walking today and actually walked a little bit of stairs and everything, and she can put her body brace on herself. I was there during the day and came home to take care of the house and everything. But I wanted to share this with you because... Uh, we are about to hit it here and wanted you to see this. This is the official trailer for the Immediate Family documentary, which will be hitting theaters, I believe, December 15th, and then goes to streaming after that. There's going to be like a special thing on the 12th of December, but I think the 15th is the official start. So here we go. Here's the trailer. In the early 70s, you couldn't pick up an album and look at the liner notes without seeing these guys' names. I would buy records just because they were on it. The creative input of these session guys cannot be overstated. It can't be overstated. Russ Kunkel. Danny Korchmar. And it's too Lee Sklar. Wadi. They were just musicians we knew, and they gradually became legendary session musicians. My main goal is to not get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Tapestry, the whole thing was done in three weeks. Three songs in one day, and we didn't piece yeah. together the best. No, like it wasn't we overdubbed. That we were all in our 20s. No, there was no sleeping. Each album became like a, what's the next thing they're going to do? Not only did they give birth to this music, they're as much the author of these songs as the artist that they did it with. Ego goes out the window. Well, I'm not sure that's true. I have a huge ego. You well, do, Pooch, you do. You can walk I could get hipper, younger people. In, in this hotel. <laughs> yeah. But these are the people that play it best. Oh, like an expression of admiration for these guys. Four truly great players, all of them masters of their instrument. In hindsight, I was just happy to be there. I've got a band full of brothers that love me. I'm proud of all of it. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to have everybody see this film. They did a remarkable job of this. That's me talking behind the camera right there. It's pretty creepy, isn't it? Kind of enigmatic. But uh, that's the trailer. That's the official trailer for this movie. And I can't wait for you all to see it. I really can't wait to be in a theater and share it with you. Um, uh, but right now, uh, my priority is getting Maureen back up and running again. So I am going to uh, head back to the uh, hospital right now and spend the evening with her. And, uh, and that's it. But I've been coming home from the hospital, taking care of the dogs. And then after midnight, I've been doing tracks for people. Um, so I finished three things. I got a couple more to go. Whew. Boy, what a life. <laughs> it's nuts. But love you all. Miss you all. I can't wait to get the clubhouse going again and getting our one-on-ones going. That's when I can actually set some time aside to do that and not feel I'm going to be pulled away. So thanks for your patience and thanks for your kind words. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.